This is my 23andMe DNA results video. Now, for those of you that don't know what 23andMe is, it's a company that does DNA testing and it can tell a person what their ancestry is, where they come from. And I just accidentally stumbled upon a 23andMe uh, YouTube video on YouTube months ago. It was like sometime in May or June earlier this year. And I watched the video of this person um, talking about their test results and about their ancestry. And once I watched that one video, I was hooked. And I just started binge watching a whole bunch of other people's uh, videos uh, of them talking about their test results. And then it got me curious about my ancestry and you know where I come from because as far as I'm concerned, I know I can go back as far as my great grandparents um, and anything before that is a mystery to me. And, uh, you know, I was naturally just very curious about what my ancestry is and where my ancestors come from. So I told my wife about it and she ordered me a 23andMe test kit. It was uh, my Father's Day gift. And I must say that was the best Father's Day gift that I've ever gotten because um, 23andMe answered a lot of my questions about, you know, where I come from and my ancestry. Now, this is not a live reaction to my uh, results because I've already seen my results. This is basically just a video of me just sharing my results. And for those of you that are curious about you know, if you're going to get a 23andMe test kit, you just go to their website, you order one, and they send you the test kit through the mail. And basically what you do, um, it's very simple. Uh, you can actually look at a, there's a YouTube video that shows you exactly what to do, but they also give you um, a booklet that comes with the package that tells you all the steps you need to do to... Um, Get your test kit ready and basically what you do is you just spit into a tube and um you send that um sample back off in the mail and um make sure that you register that test kit before you send it back off in the mail that way you can track you know where your sample is and when it gets to its destination and once it gets to its destination it probably takes about maybe three weeks for them to um, get your test results ready. And once your results are ready, they'll send you an email letting you know that your results are ready. Then you just go to the website, log in, and basically it'll tell you everything you need to know. So like I said, this is not a live reaction to my results because I've already seen my results. This is just me sharing my results. So, when you click on the website, um, you want to go to your ancestry composition because that'll tell you exactly um, what your ancestry is. And I love the presentation of this page. I love how it shows you like a map of, um, and it'll, sh it'll highlight in different colors um, where your ancestors come from. And um, each country has, you know, certain colors, like the African countries have like purple and pink and maroon. The European countries are different shades of blue. Uh, of, uh, North American, South America, that's all in brown. The Asian countries are like red and orange. And so basically, the first thing it's going to show you is that I'm 100% myself, me. And so my composition breaks down like this. I am 82.1% Sub-Saharan African. And out of that 82.1%, 69.3% of that is... West African. 
So out of the West African DNA, my largest percentage is I'm 30.7% Ghanaian, Liberian, and Sierra Leonean. I'm 19.1% Nigerian. 7.9% Senegambian and Guinean, 11.6% broadly West African. Now that's the West African part of my DNA. Then it says I'm 12.6% Congolese and Southern East African. And out of that, it says I'm 9.9% .9 Angolan and Congolese. 1% Southern East African and 1.7% broadly Congolese and Southern East African. And then the last African uh, percentage is 0.2% um, broadly Sub-Saharan African. So that's the breakdown of my African DNA. The next percentage is I am 14.8% European and 11.8% of that is Northwestern European. And this breaks down to me being 4.5% French and German, 2.9% British and Irish, 4.4% broadly Northwestern European. And then it says I am 1.9% Southern European. And that breaks down to uh, Spanish and Portuguese. That's where the 1.9% comes from. Then it says I'm 0.2% Eastern European. Now this one's very vague because it doesn't specifically say exactly what part of Eastern Europe that could be Russia or Slovakia. Don't know. And then it says 0.9% broadly European. See, some of these are specific and some of them, these are very broad. But I do know that over time, uh, these results will get more specific. Then it says, I am... 1.7% Indigenous American. And then it also says that I'm 0.7% East Asian. And that comes from Indonesia, Thai, Khmer, and Myanmar. And then the last bit of DNA that they have is uh, I am point. 2% North African. And it doesn't say specifically where. It could be Morocco. It could be uh, Libya, Tunisia. But it's very vague. It just says North Africa. At first, I was wondering if, if it might have been Egypt, but it didn't say nothing about Egyptians. So, so it's most likely Morocco or, or Libya, Tunisia. Then it says 0.5% of my DNA is still unassigned, which means they couldn't figure out where that part of my DNA comes from. But I do know that in time, they'll be able to uh, figure that out um, because these results were not my first results. My first results were slightly different. This is actually an updated version of my uh, test results. So uh, I do believe that in time, they will be able to figure out what this 0.5% of un unassigned DNA is. And that's pretty much it. Um, this answered a lot of my questions about um, where I come from, my ancestry. Now, my next goal is I want to get my parents to take this test because once they both take the test, I'll know exactly who I got what from. And um, 
there's a lot of different sections to 23andMe. There's um, a DNA relative section. Um, there's like a, a section that talks about uh, physical traits that you could have. It's a lot of fun going through all this different stuff. It's I highly recommend it that if you're a person that's curious about where you come from, or if you're a person who, you know, may have um, a lot of mysteries about, you know, relatives that you never knew, like if you never knew who your father was or who your mother was, if you were adopted, and if you're just curious about where you come from, uh, 23 and Me can answer some of your questions. It'll definitely break down your DNA the way you know where your ancestry comes from. And if you have a relative, like a sibling, or if your mother or father had took the test, and if it's somebody that you never met, never knew, the 23 and Me will find that person because it, it'll match your DNA with theirs. So I know there have been some people that have found long lost relatives because of 23 and me and, that, and that's a beautiful thing you know for a person to be connected to a family member that they never knew they had and um like i said it answered a lot of my questions about my ancestry and um i know they do have other uh companies they like uh ancestry um but i like the format of 23 and me that's why i chose that one i love the, the pie chart i love the presentation of the website um and that it can give you options if you want to look into your health history um so like i said if you're curious about your dna i would highly recommend doing the 23 and me test and that's pretty much all i got to say about that Oh, 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 oh,